Hi everyone and welcome to our Positivity Digital Kit release. You are going to want to see this, all these cute pups. You are going to want to see how you're going to be able to create with this kit. And boy are you going to be able to create with this kit. So many options, so many great word arts and word tags. Mary Fran has really incorporated a ton of those into this kit. So that whether you have your furry friends, whether you have family members that do, uh, whatever it is, uh, for all you out there that are dog lovers, and we happen to be as well, uh, you are going to really enjoy this collection. So this is our Positivity uh, bundled collection. So again, you get all five products all in, in one purchase, and you do save 20% versus purchasing them individually. So certainly something you want to look at if you're going to enjoy this kit as much as we are. In the FQB, here we go. So some great arrows, and you can already see it starting with the color choices that Mary Fran took with this. Fertastic, like it's a dog's life. She's got so many great ideas in here that are so representative of us as dog owners. You know all the things. You you know, if you are a dog owner or a dog lover, you know how it goes. And for those of you that are, yeah, dogs are okay, no big deal, but my sister is a dog lover, or my daughter or son or whatever, you're going to have all the options here in order to truly create something that's very, very special for them. Whether you're doing cards, you're doing digital scrapbook layouts, you're making a dog journal because maybe you're getting a new puppy or know somebody who is, maybe you have you really are going all out and you're having a dog birthday party. I know that's very popular these days. Um, whatever it is, you have those in here. And you can see by the background papers here, there's a lot of whimsy. So you have the paw print ones. You saw the florals when we went by. You saw the real homespun ones like these plaids. Uh, again, you really have options. And that is so great in these kits. You know, you, The whole idea that we all craft is to make something custom. Isn't that it? We go to the store, we try and find what we want, and at best you find a pale shade of what it was that you were looking for. So when you craft, you actually get exactly what you want, and isn't that it? And I'm glad that Mary Fran has created so many things like this border strip, paw prints on my heart. You know, that, that you are creating exactly what you want. Because you have so many options in these kits, there are so many embellishments, there's so many different background papers, you create the custom look that you want and, and, and really have been looking for. A great calendar. Again, how great is this? Wake up, hug your dog, and have a great day. You can use this for yourself. Maybe your pup is, you've got to diarize for shots because they're new. Maybe they're on some sort of medications or you've got to diarize when to give them their flea and tick medication or their heartworm or whatever it may be. Um, use these for whatever. Maybe you're recording things about your puppy uh, whatever it is, a great usable element. Fabulous chipboard hearts. Isn't that just, you know, in that great chipboard uh, uh, background to it, the brown, it makes it so usable and so obviously shows off the love, right? Paw prints, there's a, well, think about this. Paw print on my heart. You compare a heart with this circle, well, away you go. See, look at all the creative ideas we're just coming up with right off the bat here. Um, Great circle elements in order to give you a little bit of uh, difference. And here are the the guys. Here are the dogs. Different uh, shapes, different sizes, uh, different poses, different colors. There are so many ways to use these guys. And you're going to see how, how we chose to use them. Uh, I'll show you at the end our card making and scrapbook layout ideas. Um, so that it will give you a little more of an understanding of, of where maybe you want to go with it. And again, as just with the Catitude kit, there was a flower in there. Maybe you're the dog lover in your life, whether that's you or someone you know, they're a little more refined with their dogs. This isn't about, you know, playing ball or stick in the yard. They're a little more, you know, their dog is a little more uh, prim and proper, it's just for lack of a better word. So you have those options too. It doesn't have to be just all about whimsy and, and things like that. There are the pretty ones as well. Who really rescued who? So can you see this journal card? Maybe it's all journaling. Maybe there's a photo in here. Something that you remembered when that person or yourself got that dog for the first day. How great are these, right? Dog person. You could turn this into a card front if you wanted to. You could turn this into an invitation. You Maybe you're having hosting a party at a dog park or having a get together where you're inviting people and saying, hey, let's all get together and do some agility at this or dog training or whatever it is, 
Um, you know, there is a million ideas with with everything that, that comes in with this kit. Here's some of the labels and word arts I was talking about. Um, again, when you are doing mini albums, scrapbook albums, you're doing invitations, you're doing bullet journals, um, you know, anything. You're doing life planner pages. Those are coming so handy. Same thing here is a blank one. So it allows you, again, we'll talk about the customization. You want that custom look. You want it to be exactly what you want it. Here you go. You have the beauty that it pairs well with everything because it, it, it coordinates so well. But you create it exactly like you want it, right? Metal tags around them. So you have that kind of industrial look if you like that look kind of thing, right? Um, look at these note cards. Can you imagine printing these off and saying, hey, it's kind of like stationary, right? So this is a great phone pad. You know, where Christmas is only a couple of months, a little more than a couple of months away. Why not print this off multiple times? And as you can see, there's number two and number three. So how great would that be for a Christmas gift? You know, it's so hard to find Christmas gifts for people now because we all buy what we want when we want it for the most part. Uh, you know, we you have to save a little bit for those bigger purchases. But um, why not make something custom like that for somebody, right? Ribbons, again, I say it every time, but if you haven't used the ribbons, really give them a try because they do add such life and stuff. I'll show you how I chose to use one in the card making idea. Ribbon, ribbon bows, and again, it has the heart in it for the love factor. We all love our pets and our dogs and, and our cats, so why not have that? Great photo, great tabs here, right? So you can use these to point at something, a main element, a main photo, whatever it is, or just use them as, as really interesting little elements. You can even journal on the bottom or side parts, whatever you want. Um, you know, again, many, many ways. Be creative with this stuff. And here's some washi tape strips. Washi tape, obviously, is very popular, um, and that's how people use it, just like I was saying with the ribbons. These are nice littler strips and have the torn ends. So it really looks like that. It really gives you the look. All you have to do is print it, cut it out, and glue it in. It is totally that simple. And when you're cutting it, one quick thing to, to mention is obviously you can cut this straight if you want and then just tear it yourself, obviously, just as a, as a hint, right? So you can still get that torn edge without having to do that fancy cutting. Just cut it square and tear the end yourself. Uh, some great word arts. So uh, these are digital stamps. So again, use them like you would a regular uh, ink stamp, but these are digital format. So that way you can uh, place them over anything that you have and it, everything shines through from below, right? So you know how to use a, a regular stamp. And lastly, some word strips. Hopefully these say what you want, but in the event, and they give you great ideas when you're like, man, I got so many ideas. I got to kind of fine tune this and hone this. How am I going to do this? Use these as maybe something to, as your starter, uh, as to, oh, so possum, you know, and you're like, oh, that's great. And here's a bit of a color, sort of get me going on the color stream and everything else. Those are, are, are great things in order to start you off when you are making your paper craft creation. So in the little bits is our additional elements pack. And as you can see, it certainly does not let you down. The, the little bits has more finished uh, items in there. So when you are loaded for time, when you're kind of, you know, you really want to create, but you have to use more pre-made items rather than creating and customizing yourself so much. They, these are fabulous to use. Go straight to the little bits. It has so many items in it that you can just pop in, add some background papers and away you go. Literally 15, 20 minutes. You've created your card. You've created your scrapbook layout page. Um, you know, there is so much in here. The dog word art, the, again, some more stamps, right? So that you have a full range of things, again, that are unique. You do not get any of those in the FQB, but it gives you the options of creating something really special and being able to do it quickly. In our uh, Positivity 2 pack is an additional paper pack and gives you more background paper options. You've seen these uh, patterns in the FQB but not in these colors. So that's where this comes in handy. If you're creating multiple items, you're creating a full mini album, a full scrapbooking uh, album, you're creating multiple invitations or uh, you know whatever it is, uh, birthday cards, whatever it is, you know you want things to coordinate but not be exactly identical. That is the reason to have these extra paper packs. The solids paper pack, as you can see, has a faint paw print uh, emblazoned or embossed into it. So again, you can use these as standalone papers, 
but make sure if you're looking for that perfectly color coordinated paper to back your photos or other main elements there you have it that is the point of the solids paper pack lastly is the alpha we obviously have so many things that we want to highlight when we're doing our cards invitations layouts uh, journals whatever it is you want to highlight something the alpha is the way to do it you have a full uppercase uh, as well as numbers and some punctuation so that way if you're spelling names dates places emotions whatever it is that you want to highlight and punctuate the alpha is the way to do it you use these letters place them in there makes a fantastic statement basically for lack of a better word pun intended it really makes an, a big impact when you use this alpha in order to highlight those things. And that, folks, is our positivity collection. And to give you a little bit more inspiration here, here is the layout that Mary Fran did. And as you can see, look at how much she used. But great white space, right? Um, it just draws you in to both the photos as well as all the interest that's created with so many different embellishments that she used. Here's how she used the washi tape. Here's how she used the digital stamp. Here's how she placed in the bow and the chipboard heart and used some of the labels and word arts in here among the dogs. You can see so many options. Here's how Mary Fran chose to use that tab uh, in a digital scrapbooking layout. Those, those file folder tabs are not only just for placing on the edge in order to find things. There's so many ways you can use it, right? And here's how she chose how to use that border at the beginning of uh, just after the background papers we saw that border in in here and look at how she just chose to use a portion of it great way to do it right you don't have to use the whole thing you can just use a portion if that's how you choose and as well here is the card and remember how I told you use the ribbons use the ribbons there's how I chose to use it see how nicely it blends in it just adds and enhances it picks up on the silver that is in the back I've used to back these main papers and also in the rose that's there uh, also in the dog, see how it coordinates so well together, but just adds that extra little bit in order to really blend it together. So folks, that is it, our bundled positivity. I hope you love it as much as we do, and I hope you can already have, feel the creative juices kind of coming to you where you know you want to create with this kit. Before you head off to go get it for yourself, please don't hesitate to look at that logo, in a, our Network Collections logo in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Click on that to be subscribed to our YouTube channel. That way you'll be made aware of any time we post a new video, whether that be how-to videos, new kits that we've had released, whatever it is. As well, give us a thumbs up on this, on this if you like the video and also leave us a comment if you want to share, hey, this is what I'm going to planning to do with it. Uh, you know, any comments you have about the kits and you want to share that with us, please feel free to do so there. Thanks once again for joining us in this positivity release and we hope you'll love it and love creating with it every bit as much as we have. Thanks again and happy creating.